Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings students of Hogwarts and Witches and Wizards all. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. I am Cobalt Thorium, and we are now in uh, this dungeon with Sebastian. With There's the... something here by the altar. Oh, yes, yes. With all the bones everywhere, and of course the bones are probably an ancient magic thing. Um, uh, we've seen before that it's almost like bone magic, which is kind of awesome now that I think about it. Incendio! It's very... Um, how should I put it? Primal? Like, it definitely seems like a lost magic, and a lost, like, dark magic at that. Alright, have we been in here? Uh... We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Okay. Revelio. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything in those. We'll take a peek over here. That one's got bones in it. Alright. Yeah. Oh, well, there was something in there. Nothing, nothing. Or some little bag of stuff. No, this is just bones. Now these bones are probably going to be used with our ancient magic to do something. Which I have yet to Rebellion. figure out. There's another set. any like secret to the breaking of all the vases maybe there is there has been in previous what the some of the previous puzzles it's been like oh break all the all the vases or pots or whatever. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Is he following? Okay, so this is sort of a side questy area with that. Wow. Revelia. Okay. Huh. I need to find a safe way across. No, I, I mean, I know the way across. It's going to be the bones. It's very impressive. So you got the crawly vines. Revelio. Okay. Wait, and so this is Slytherin's area? So did he have the ancient magic too then? I want to get up there. There's a lot of treasure up there. Okay, so now it kind of seems like that might be the way forward. Well, 
Yeah, this is clearly a bone puzzle. I don't know what it does, though. Oh, we have to build the arch? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, let's read the note. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay. But research must come before my fealty to the rules. I said something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by the English Oak Wands have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. Okay. What did you find? I want to go up there and take a look at this. Let's see if there's any... No? Uh, I wanted to see if there there were any um, bone receptacles like those. for that to get quite so close to the end. Um, you know what I'm going to do here? Is I'm going to go through here and I'm going to open up all those caverns, or all those uh, cabinets and see if there are any bones in them. Because this is starting to look more like the loot area, and or like an additional loot area, and less like a uh, the, the path forward. So I did get did I get some bones out of it. Wonder if I can light this at rage. Confringo. Lumos. Is there another one? There is. Bombarda doesn't light stuff on. Confringo. All right, got some bones out of it. That's good. No bones about it. <laughs> I should just have treasure. Let's see if these have additional bones. Okay, we did get a second set. Revelio. The other, okay, that one over here. Huh. Alright, I think... I mean, huh. if two sets is enough, then two sets is enough. Let's give it a try. Oh, just one of them left. Got left behind. Oh, 
That's gonna be enough. Oh, what's up with this? Bone bridge complete. Um, then we just deposit this, I suppose. Repulsor. Revelia. Lumos. Oh. Okay, so that's how we get back here. Potion or tool shelf. Cool. Money. A little bit more money. A lace sorcerer's hat. Revelia. Right. I think that that's pretty much everything in this room. We just have to move the last bones over there, but let's talk to Sebastian first. Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room. Which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But... Let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, oh, in this case, no bone. <laughs> Alright, it's pretty simple. If it's this just... archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. <sighs> a little bit of coffee here. Alright, let's go. You've done it! I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Oh, jeez. Nice. All the bone puns. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable curse. But useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Nice. Oh, that's... Sebastian. Jeez, you have uh, darker skills than I realized. You've been hiding all this from me. Yes, how do you know the Imperius Curse? Why did you learn the Imperius Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Wow, he's really been dabbling for a while then, huh? Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the blasting curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. Yes. All right. I do want It's to. probably wise to know the spell. Yes. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. 
You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. And now I'll have one Focus more. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Okay. Um. Oops. It's like a four. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Wait, what? Oh, hello. Oh, wait, what? No, T, T, T. What the hell's going on here? Okay, here it is. Where's my mouse cursor? Okay, nice little bug there. There we go. So this must be Imperial. Unforgivable curse. Temporary forces enemies to fight as if they were your companion. While under your, while under your control, they take reduced damage from other enemies to prolong their allegiance to you. This also curses the victim and the cursed enemies to take extra damage. Wait, I thought it says it has damage reduced. Also curses the victim and the cursed enemies to take extra damage. While under your control, they... I don't understand. <laughs> oh, I, does that mean that they take less damage from me? Interesting. Um, I really like Crucio. Does Crucio have a, a downside like that? Also curse it's the victim. Okay, no, that's just the victim. Okay. Oh, I see what they're what what they're saying now. Um, hmm. Where should we put this? I guess we'll just put it here for now. Oops! Says not what I wanted to do. What the? Okay. Bavelia. So that was kind of a not a great start to Imperia. We didn't really even get to see it the way that the camera switched over. All right, it's unclear which way it wants us to go. Incendio. There's another. Yeah, it's it's definitely unclear which way we're supposed to go here. Um, can I bombard this out of the way or something? Bombarda. Confringo. From the map, it definitely seems like there's a way, there should be a way past this. I don't know what it is, though. Let's just quickly look at our spells here. Can't just transform it, right? Okay. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe that, that is permanent. Let's go this way first. That's the way that, that the spider went. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Well, it's definitely some Merlin y things here. That's actually a Christian symbol, it's the symbol of the Trinity. Well, it's Gaelic and Christian, but... 
All right. Because that sort of looks like the way forward, we're gonna go over here. Incendio. More Imperios. Somebody here. That's not what I wanted to do. So Imperio, Imperio seems pretty useful. Revelia. Nothing beyond this point. What are these? Oh, Wigan Welds. Here we'll grab that other treasure. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Which appears that as though there is not. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Get an unidentified item. That's nice. A legendary at that. Legendaries are fairly common in this game, actually. It's kind of interesting. Whoa. Okay, we got some weird hanging decorations. Very sinister. So that's the Bone Bridge. I guess that there's probably nothing else in this area. Unless we can go this way somehow. Which doesn't look like it. Alright. Hop into our talents and take a look at our dark arts. Slowing. Here we go. An enemy under your control with, uh, with Imperio curses other targets with each successful strike. That sounds amazing. I'll totally do that. Um, I also want to get more recharge on our ancient magic. It seems to be taking a really long time. Basic cast impacts on airborne enemies contribute to more to ancient magic. We'll totally do that. Oh, that was that was core. So dark arts, core, stealth, removal requirement. Let's look at the spells. 
Oh yeah, these are all ones that do like splash damage and stuff. Which I'm not really that interested in. Was all right. That's pretty cool. Enemy struck with transformation spell transform into explosive objects. That would make it more useful. And more dangerous. Because what if you transform somebody that's like right next to you? Alright, uh, so we just went that way. So I guess now we go this way. Alright. Hmm. Okay, um, well, we can start this at least. I assume that there's a pattern here that we need to do. Hello. That worked. Keep going. And I kind of figured that those would give us more bones, but I guess it gave us a treasure. Okay. What about you? You. Oh, there's a new one. Nothing, though. So there are... Two left. Which will have to be bones, right? What haven't I tried here? So let's just go through them. We did boom, boom. We have not done boom, boom, I don't think. Boom. Boom. Okay, we got bones. Alright, so that's all the ones from that. Oh, are we unable to grab these ones now? That's interesting. I guess I solved all of them and didn't even you notice. Head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Jeez. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. It's a bon voyage. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> I don't know. Come up with a couple.
there. I thought that would never end. I need to get more ancient magic. Which I think kind of means that I should just spend more time... Revenio. Imperioing characters and then hitting them with the standard attack. What's going on with this? I think there's some kind of glitch there. Incendio. Revelio. What is this? It's kind of cool. There's a little nook in there. I'm just going to take a look at some of this art. Very Viking. Well, they do a great job of making this seem very ancient and dead end lovely actually All that for nothing kind Hold of on. spooky don't give up yet like forbiddingly ancient like like back when druids did human sacrifices or something like that not that they ever did i don't know if they did or they didn't but all right we got we have a table here with a Weird triangle thing. Like these just seem so primal, so primitive. It seems like we're actually sort of descending into history to some degree. This one's sort of like green and mossy and it's like covered in lichen and the statues are ever more primitive. I like that a lot. All right. The relic's note. The relic contain, contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind, but the world. The dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Okay, that's the relic. That is really creepy. <laughs> Sebastian, the relic, look. That is so creepy. All right, let's fix your sister. I think sister. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. Yes. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Uh-oh. Is that ominous? Hey, ominous. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. No, Sebastian he makes things but... sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. I think we need to fix Anne. Come on. So what if we're dabbling in forbidden powers? <laughs> Sebastian. 
Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. No. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium? Uh... That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility. This could save your friendship. I know how to cast it, Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperial! Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Nice. Sebastian, come on. See ya. What did you do? Imperial. <laughs> it was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we need to go. Go on. See, the thing is, I really like both these characters. I feel like something really bad is going to happen to Sebastian. Oh no. That makes me sad. I really like him as a character. Alright, I think this is the way out. Did we do the wrong thing? You need the relic. I know. But not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperio on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. We've always looked out for each other, Luminous and I. I hope he knows that hasn't changed. Get out of here. Have I even been over here? I guess I must have. How do I get out of here? Tracking not available. Is it this way? I, I actually don't remember. What was that? Is there gonna be a boss coming up or please don't like collapse the thing on my friend Sebastian. Oh, that's what they're gonna do to me, isn't it? Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. I guess there was enough this room is taller than it looks. Why does he say that? That's the second time he said that. That kind of implies. No, I did get the treasure up there, didn't I? Rebellion. It's taller than it looks. What does that mean? Oh, it looks like there's something secret over here, according to the map. I don't know how we get there, though. Hmm. Oh well. Back to the Feldcroft region. How long will the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? 
The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb, just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. All right, where are we off to? Okay, right over there. That's fine. Going back to Feldcroft. So we have the relic, but... I kind of get the sense that we don't really know how to use it. Okay, so we have a... We have a balloon trial over here, which we should probably do as soon as this mission wraps up. Because I keep forgetting about them. Some spiders over here, too. Spiders fighting some of those other guys. That's interesting. Spiders fighting goblins. Goblins fighting spiders. Be quiet. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Over here! Incendio! Grand Rock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. I'm just trying to upgrade my, um, or refill my ancient magic meter. Trying to find the best way to do it. We got a little bit out of that. Not as much as I oh, would have no. liked. This isn't good. What, what is the it? Heck? Smoke! Over there, by the hamlet. They burnt Feldcroft? Feldcroft? Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. You won't stop me. Not quite. No! That was meant for me. Rubber up, boys. Yet. <clears throat> Boy! Excuse me. What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. No. 
What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. Yep. Uh, it may have been the wrong choice, or you did the right thing. We definitely want to encourage dark magic. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. We should Imperio him and make him <laughs> and make him forgive Sebastian. <laughs> That'd be cool. Revelio. Oh, lots of dropped stuff. We have a thing here we can repair. I don't think repair is currently assigned. It is not. Repair. They need to give us more slots. Revelio. Um, because now I have to just go back and rechange that again. We need more slots, many more slots, a whole another rung where I could just put all my unforgivables or something like that. That'd be amazing. All right. What do we do? What do we do? Okay. So we're talking to the guy, right? Oh, they put all the fires out already. No, I guess they didn't. We'll try to convince them. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Yes, I can. Uh, Sebastian saved his sister, yeah? Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? In the shadow of time. Well. Now somebody, an adult, knows that we've been dabbling in dark magic. That's not great. Um. Alright, well that is complete. Let's see what, we're, what we've got on time here. Yeah, it's about time to wrap up. So, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like maybe share maybe subscribe uh new episodes every day at 4 p.m eastern time us in canada i'm cobalt thorium and i hope to catch you in the next one bye bye